We're here at CES in Las Vegas to take a ride in a self-driving taxi with Lyft and its partner, Aptiv. The self-driving future, it's an inevitability. But the first time a person takes a ride in an autonomous car, most likely it's gonna be in a ride-hailing vehicle. So for that, we're gonna jump in the car and see how it feels. We are in the BMW, we're on our ride, and we're just about to go in autonomous mode. Autonomous driving. There we go, and now the car is driving us down the Las Vegas Strip. There's Harrah's, there's Treasure Island, and frankly, it's pretty much as if a human were driving. This BMW is able to accomplish getting through Las Vegas thanks to a huge array of sensors. It has nine LiDAR, 10 radar, it has a trifocal camera, differential GPS. It also has V to I information. So it's getting information from the infrastructure, from Las Vegas's infrastructure about the stoplights. Now, in addition to that, there's a redundancy. So it actually sees the stoplights, which is great because for something with a vehicle, you always want as many redundancies as possible. Now the first versions of self-driving cars that land on the road, you probably will be buying one. More likely than not, you'll be in a ride hailing system. Now, Aptiv says that its level four autonomous system will be ready in 2019 and it expects a partner, whether it be ride hailing or an OEM, to have it in a vehicle in 2020. Aptiv isn't the only company that's doing this. Uber, Waymo, GM Cruise, all these companies are trying to build an autonomous system to get people around town. Now, right now they're working on level four, which does still have a driver in there, but the car does most of the driving. Of course, the top level is level five, where you don't have a wheel at all. You won't need a driver. And that future, you'll call a car, it'll show up, and it'll just be you sitting in the vehicle. Check back for more coverage from CES 2018 from Engadget.